Muff, the streets got eyes and telepathy, homie. We be peeping what you doing, homie. Welcome to the Really Good Podcast with your host, Bobby Altoff. Today we have... Suki with a good coochie. Suki with a good coochie. What could you be doing right now? <laughs> Nasty just, stuff. Yeah, like anything. You make a lot of money doing that. Does everybody know I'm Suki with a good coochie, so I always make a lot of money. How many d should it take a woman to get 500000 In this country, a girl who knows how to hustle lanes can get money like that fast. If you know how to hustle the lane. Yeah. But the girls who know how to get beat up and work the next fool, they can get their paper. Right. If you can't do a split, I don't even know what type. <laughs> so when you get hunched on, what you do? You just lay back? <laughs> You're not even in the world of financial freedom if you ain't know how to do no split on no my girl. Stay in power in this business. You're not giving it its full credibility. See, this is what happens with this month podcast world. You be hot for a second. All you hot you be hot for a second. But then when people really cue in on who you are, they say, oh, this ain't shit. I'm gone. <laughs> oh, my God. You wanted to be on here. Huh? You wanted to be on my podcast. Why you keep saying that, Kevin? <laughs> I honestly didn't even want to do this. I don't do interviews. You heard, you already told me you looked me up. I'm walking out on board. At the people peep you. Because that's what happens in the real world, motherfucker. Like, it's some motherfucker who come out, you thought they was the sh I remember when they used to say, Dane Cook is so funny. I'm just putting oh, it out Lord, there. Uh, I'm just using a comic. Right. Man, at the people tune in and watch that motherfucker. Oh, he ain't sh Oh, my God. This is hype. I you thought that all I was was a magician or whatever the said. See, that's what I think you think I said. No, I said musician, I think, not magician. I don't think, baby, but I don't think. Right. As you think. guys fade off, stop blaming everything else. They done peeped you. They see you ain't sh <laughs> You get a run of perpetrating, hey, whoop de whoop de whoop de whoop. After them people peep you, dog, they gonna be like, oh, this ain't sh no, baby, I do music. For the record, could you say you don't think you're a musician? I'm not none of that. But then after that, you just said, I do music. Yeah, I do music. In other yeah. words, you're a musician. No, I'm not. Okay. Lose the connection mentally to the vagina. It should be mm -hmm. no connection. Your vagina was given to you to hustle with if you wasn't raised right. If you wasn't raised right, you can say, but I still got there. <laughs> stupid. All right. I know some girls who eat good because they hustle the wallet between they leg. It ain't connected to nothing. Greetings, you polite savages, and welcome to another Tip Talk. Well, once again, we are at a loss for words. Why are we at a loss for words? Because Sukihana, she's back at it, impressing us all with her intellect, letting us know that we are all mental midgets compared to the words of wisdom she will espouse on a minute by minute basis whenever a microphone's in front of her. The form she uses to espouse such value and such intellectual prowess is the Bobby Outhoff podcast, where she drops such gems as, I'm not a musician. What do you think that is? Someone who does magic? I didn't know that about you. What do, what do you know? That you're a musician. So I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. What the f that mean? Make magic or something? What is musician? I think that's, I think you're confusing that. Yeah, I'm not no musician. I, I make music. And other gems like, I don't think. That's ghetto. I do. And I know. I, what is that? That's ghetto. I don't think. I know. So you, you think. I didn't say magician, Suki. I said musician. Now look. At one point, this has to be a big joke that we're just not in on it. At one point, someone has to take a step back. People who are advising her has to say, ma'am, it's getting a little old. I mean, we already had you saying you was out there eating a butt in England and, and getting scratched out. We already see you up there twerking on the red carpet. We've seen so many things from you, but what we haven't seen is you sit down and act like you got some common sense more than one interview in a row. And for the naysayers out there, the folks who say absolutely that she should be able to do what she should do, you're absolutely correct. Sukihana has free agency to be as ratchet 
as ignorant and as stupid as she wants to be. Just like we have free agency to criticize it, clown her, and kick that back in whenever we feel like it. I don't want to be a victim to the world. I'm not just a celebrity. I have a real life and I make mistakes like everybody. Girl, who the f is you? Let me get a mother fist filet. Oh, belongs to the streets. When you have women in a community who feel like there's no repercussions to the dirt they do, the community cannot thrive. Flashback. The people that are judging Britney Renner for saying that she slept with 35 men, she's living in her truth. A lot of y'all think that money, getting paid to don't count as a body, it don't count to me. What? <laughs> Did my career, my um, Yasmin Penn Davis thing. And she only has 52 titles, honey. She's not loose. So that's a long, so you know that that's a lot of question. years. Personal body count is low. I don't consider work. It don't matter. The work body don't count. don't count. No. What? That's, that's business. Me, the woman, her body count is low. But the star is she outside. What? And I guarantee you something. There's a lot of ladies out there who feel like this. They feel like their hustle box it's their financial freedom. It's just like the same ladies who say, you know what? You, you got to pay this much to take me out to dinner because I'm worth this much. And, and I ain't no average person, so I can't go to an average Olive Garden. I can't go to an average Cheesecake Factory. No, no, no. You need to take me to a roof, Chris. So why black men make dating so difficult? And it's simply because they don't have money. I would not be dating black men at all. The men are poor. Yeah. If you want my time, if you want to hang out, if you want to buy me gifts, sure. But I'm not doing that in return. Like, okay. my presence is enough. I don't want to go to where regular people go. I want okay. to go to where the people that got money let a take me to nothing less than Please. what I will take my gifts. Right Red flag. He, if I wanted to go to Olive Garden. Um, yeah. I quickly curved that and suggested a place that wasn't Olive Garden. People flirt okay. you at the grocery store, but not offer to pay for your grocery? Get out of my face! I beg your pardon? Yeah! Hey, you 9 to 5 at yeah, my favorite. JP Morgan or some hell yeah, because no, I know that gee. Friday check about to have multiple no, zeros. Stella Bank. How much would that man have to make to date you? I'm just being honest, like, at least over 500000 It's not a lot. It's not. You're going to have to be in the mid to high six figures at this point. I mean, Benny Hanna might be a little bit too less for me if you ain't spending three or $400, right? Because this is their idea, their stupid and twisted, demented idea is that what's between their legs grants them financial freedom. But what happened? What happened to the feminists, the so-called empowerment movement that all of these women were preaching for so long saying that listen to me it's my brain that i want you to value it's my essence as a woman that i want you to value no ma'am we all know what you're really trying to get us to value and it's what's between your legs I mean, but what's it like dating five people at the same time it's just like juggling you have to be talented are you sleeping with all five of them not all of them generally. why not all what's the deciding factor well, there's different guys for different situations some guys, I just want to go to... <laughs> I forgot that I'm recording this. And if you just want to get into uh, hooking, you might as well just say so, because that's what you just reduced yourself to. You reduced yourself to, just like Patrice O'Neill said, a series of holes to get over. How would you keep your man past two months if you didn't have a vagina? You can talk, you can talk. <laughs> Suck his d okay, mouth. Asshole, okay, great. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, I've been getting being the whole show, right? But I give women the opportunity to say, I'm gonna make myself worth more. But you just classified yourself as a series of holes, but, but I, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to treat you special, but you're just a bunch of holes to yourself. Well, look, whatever. Yo, hey, I would like to point out something interesting as I see this baby bop medallion on Sukiyana. Has she been watching our videos? Because the first mention I ever had about Sukiyana looking like baby bop was about five months ago. Suki, I see why she act the way she act. God damn! This looked like Danny Glover when he was getting tortured and lethal weapon. Go spit, you son of a... 
<laughs> Damn, Cory going in on poor Sukiyana. Now, I don't think Sukiyana looks as bad as Glory claims, but she does remind me of Baby Bop. Anyway, I want to show you guys this next series. Of I always thought she resembled Baby Bop before then, but it looks like Samuel Clark beat me to the punch with putting it in writing with our first Sukiyana video. Shut up. Hey, Suki, if you're watching this video, no hate, but you definitely made my day wearing that Baby Bop chain. Let's not let Bobby all top off the hook here. She ain't getting off that easy. Just four months ago, Offset made her look like an extra goof when you thought she couldn't get any goofier. Can you pay me? You wanted to be on here. Huh? You wanted to be on my podcast. Why you keep saying that, Kevin? Man. So Offset right out the gate came prepared coming in hot. Counter striking Bobby with a two piece and a biscuit combo. You don't even know what nothing is like. I'm learning. You couldn't have been cool in school. I wasn't. Thank you for pointing that out. What's your favorite song? Dirty Diana. I don't think I've ever heard that. The devil is a lie. And you tell us you don't know Dirty Diana. You don't know Who's who Michael Jackson is? The oh. disrespect people, people, people. She says she doesn't know what Dirty Diana is. <laughs> Everything you do you is for show. You can't even. You can't see You turned your eyes. face towards you the camera. Everything you do is you for show. You, you don't like none of these answers you are to me. Both Little Yachty and Drake made a sneak diss on their song "Another Late Night" after she burnt bridges with both, with her dismissive, uninterested, disrespectful, flippant attitude towards the ones that made her famous. Thinking about this pill I took, pillow talking. Widows in my comments talking about some Millie Bobby. So to the game, we get to really flopping. Who's the white and now she thinks she really popping. Bobby got to stack her chips high while she got her 15 minutes of fame. So she out here riding the Drake wave, securing interviews, even appearing on Kiki Palmer's podcast, acknowledging Drake's appearance set her up for success through his name alone. And he's definitely clearly changed the trajectory of that was a big word i don't i mean sure I he did change it changed I mean, the uh, of my I, whole career so i i found out about you from him so I'd i say don't he think definitely. i think he yeah either him or funny marco but like yeah. both of them so like look at you giving crazy. the black people props oh they, yes I, without them it's like i was still gonna be like posting with my 100k view like, you know that interviewing him it's gonna like change my life and like and it did. But the hilarious thing about all this is a sneak diss. Kiki Palmer delivers ruthlessly on Bobby. And what would you say to the people that feel like, okay, you're just capitalizing without concern? If that's not who you are, what would you say you are doing? I definitely can see how people would come to that conclusion. It's like, I mean, or then there's always the industry plant gag. I know. You're not an industry plant, right? I am, but. <laughs> so, wait, what is the um, industry plant to you? I don't know. I mean, like the industry is like helping you, you like i don't know where what, what i think is an industry plan is like somebody that is tied to someone else in the industry mm -hmm. and uses those connections okay to capitalize and they like have zero talent <laughs> that makes more sense than what i thought it was so don't have any ties yeah just have like well you do feel kind of planty we do have the same manager so it's just i know isn't that crazy it feels a bit planty this is definitely <laughs> you got you got here in five minutes i took me 20 years I, I hey it has been exposure and clout for these clout succubies for these clout demons may be what she's really after so the joke's on us but i guess it's all good to sell your soul for a bag and an ounce of fame i flew all the way here on my daughter's first birthday you missed your daughter's first birthday for to me. be here offset said forget it i'm gonna take off the gloves and let's give her a full load of her medicine and embarrass her on her own podcast if i'm forced to do this interview okay what do you do mm. that's um, the question i interview people why because i want to get to know them mm. why do you want to get to know me mm. um i didn't stop the cap you did your team reached out to mine don't cap oh let's not cap about that let's not put that's not flex for the ground uh-oh C-A-P, C-A-P, flag on the play. You should Actually, try to make a song. I, I, I honestly don't know how this came about. I'm not going to lie to you. Bro, there's no way, bro. Me either. Okay. Well, my team could have reached out to yours. I'm not going to. I don't want to make you look bad. They had to show me who Bobby was. I thought they were talking about Bobby Boucher. Yeah, they had to show me what the water, was. The water boy, because you like water, so it Never. matched. Yeah. <laughs> I googled Damn. you on the way here and I read something about you. I had to go on TikTok. I couldn't even Google I, you. Oh my Thank God. you. 
I was I had to go TikTok search. I couldn't Google you. Google's not there yet. Oh You're not my, there yet. Oh my god. But you'll be there. You're not on Google yet. But you'll you'll be there. <sighs> Are you gonna walk out of this interview? Was that something you intended to do at some point? You were gonna go. I mean now you can't because it'd be awkward. So did you plan on doing that? Walking out on you? Mm-hmm. From the onset, Offset did not let off the gas. Mercilessly, roasting Bobby like a lechon pig on a spit, skewing her at every turn. You need to get the f off TikTok. Sorry, that's my job. You kind of like, you've talked about TikTok like 12 times on this That's how I make my money. Excuses are for the incompetent. Fatality. You ain't got no seasoning, man. You like a plain piece of chicken. Just on the thing, you pull it off, and then you serve the dish. You need some seasoning, man. Damn, I'm trying to get you to play. You lost in the sauce. You ain't shaking my hand. Just a little sprinkle. Great day of off that. <sighs> Emotional damage. Just a little seasoning. All right, you can you can leave now. This is my hotel. I paid for this. My you can leave now. I just wanted to give her a taste of like herself. You asked me a crazy question. I'm gonna reverse it to you. And I know you ain't gonna be quick as me. You just ain't smart as me. It's just like you not know. No, at all your interviews, ain't nobody cut. They just laugh for like. It's oil. like the joke's always on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not on me. Man. I'm also doing my research and see what's going on. I ain't never walking into none blind. The bottom line is this, polite savages. Both Sukiana and Bobby are being phony and being fake. Sukiana already knows she's playing a part. She's an OFIG model, still hawking her goods, cookies, and assets on the internet cosplaying as a musician on the side. And probably that's what she means when she says she isn't a musician. She just does music, among other things, as evident on her only, the Hams account. Then we got Bobby Altop, who happens to be a mid-tier, mid TikTok mom influencer, somehow hooked up with a good manager getting these famous celebrity interviews into becoming a successfully legit industry plant podcaster. Polite savages, I don't know about you, but I'm peeping the perpetrating happening right before our eyes. They think we stupid and blind and can't see what's happening. So you're a liar. But I was, that's not what I was even, that's not the point of what I was saying. No, nah, what it is, you're a liar. You was, a li can you, you let me? <laughs> you're a liar. Can you let me finish my sentence? You don't let liars finish the sentence. You lie to you everybody. Why did you lie? How about that? What was the point of the lie? That's all I got for you, you polite savages. Like and subscribe. Hit us up on all social media networks. <laughs> we found true happiness.